all right so as we already know season 23 is here and um one of the thing about season 23 we have is the compass location the spies compass location so it's a betrayer's base that you'd have to raid and you can get betrayer's pack for the side quest but first to get the compass you'd get it for free right here to get more you can just purchase it for silvers and you'll get more and also right over here make your way all the way over here to the blacksmith once you give the blacksmith these betrayers packs we have the small betrayers pack large betrayers pack and we also have the medium betrayers pack which is this one here so for the small betrayers pack it is located in the um the spies location that's the compass spy location right here using well once you um activate the spies compass here you'd get the green betrayers pack and for the blue one you'd get the medium so the blue compass you get the medium um, betrayers packs and you can also get the medium betrayers pack at the betrayer stronghold that is the main season stuff and you can also get key from each of these um, spy compass locations. As you can see here, um, the green one gives 10 points, blue one gives 20, large gives 30. And you definitely need two hatchets in case. And you can just bring four of these raiders hatchet or you can bring five. Perfectly fine. You definitely want to bring two or one of these thieves picklocks. And just want to bring five of these basic picklocks. You might not use all of them, but you could just bring it in case just to, you know, have it in case you have to open extra chest or whatnot. And also to let you know, once you have completed the side quest here, which should get the small token, large token. And at the end of the, this um, here, you get the portal device. This should be able to teleport you from any location to your camp and that would be beneficial you also get silvers from the side quest so most definitely worth it to do it but once you have completed the side quest here you will get these so you'd get the large token from the side quest you would also get the large token here free to play you could definitely also get it but you get it like level 57 uh yes as you can see here and you also get these small tokens so these small tokens let me show you that first you can purchase any of these armors you know heavy blue armor light blue armor or medium blue armor and you can also get these blue weapons here and also green weapons from these chests along with the resources potions and armors so once you have the large token you could then go here and you could purchase either of the Alphars, the Alphar um, weapons right here. Any one that you prefer or desire to get. You can also use coins. But as a free to play player, you definitely want to save your coins for the repair table. And with this large token, you can also get either of these packs heavy, um, light, or medium pack. Um, that you could, I think you could get combined with the side quests and the main season i think you could get it around four packs four free to play players and four pay to win players i think it's up to six packs that you can get so we'll definitely see i think i heard it somewhere <laughs> that that's the case but we could definitely see if that is actually the case here all right so let's make our way to the main map here um also to get the blue compass let me show you guys right here we're currently going to um explore the green compass we don't have the blue compass because we need the tablet that is definitely required to get the blue compass and for the purple compass i think you'd have to be like district level 145 to unlock the purple or the large compass location which is only a few persons would get access to unlocking that location but either way let's open this location right here all right so at the small betrayers camp just to let you know to activate another location already activated one location to activate another location first this betrayers camp would have to be it has to disappear off the map 
to for me to then get access to a unlock another location to go so once you could do that over and over you could um once it disappears you can open another one enter loot and then you know proceed to the side quest but let's go ahead and clear this here i think i should have uh, buffed up right here boom okay i think i gotta reset you can also reset if you are you know facing too much pressure because they could do you know quite a amount of damage just to also let you know you don't have to use your siege equipment in this location you want to save your siege equipment so that you could use it in the betrayer stronghold to for the main quest to be specific you know so you won't definitely want to save your siege equipment for that location here okay and i'm getting a lot of stunts so just to also let you know you don't want to get hit with any skills from these players um, not the players from the mobs here. It's very annoying because their skills do a lot of damage. So let's just keep our distance here. Um, from this dude here, you don't want to get um, hit. You don't have to die, but you know you don't want to get hit by that skill there. All right, and once you um, take these up, you get, you know, ropes from those chests. And, oh, you also get iron. I think you also get wood. You know, just basic resources from those broken uh, chests. And once you enter into the walls right there, um, but I'm going to go ahead and chop the, you know, walls and stuff. Then, you know, enter enter the base and you are going to definitely need the lock picks and stuff yes sir which just to let you know you could get these lock picks from the betrayers camp so the season overall is a good deal because you basically get these for free you also get these in the betrayers stronghold for the main quest and you also get these and you also get side quest points from the betrayed stronghold so it is definitely worth doing the betrayed stronghold if you're worried you know if you're a new player and you're worried about having resources and stuff um to craft these you don't have to craft them because you ultimately get it for free in the betrayed stronghold so you know no worries and no stressing about resources and all that you could definitely do the stronghold and get it and also to let you know you can also get keys for that stronghold in this spy compass location so it's definitely a good location this season is a w i'm not gonna lie it's actually good um pvp in the main which is the stronghold is you know easy because it's based of skill there because <laughs> you can't um runes don't work in that location and also you have your siege equipment and stuff that you got for free so the first day they would have given you for free um some chest then the second day they would give you another chest so it's like double the amount that they give so that's a definitely w bar um so you can even do that and get a lot of um, resources and you can also get um strong hatchets and all that all right so i'll just go ahead and chop right here to see if there is any chest that is located here so as i said before you want to ignore the broken chest there is like there's literally no chest in that location i'm just gonna reset the mobs here just not gonna waste my time to avoid heading back there and head down here instead and destroy this dude right here he's gonna use that but I still, still get stunned. All right, so let, just also let you know, there's this change that if you take all, then, um, you know, gadgets and bandages, whatever you have that you picked up, it would be automatically equipped. So you want to pick up the gadgets first, then you could just take all um, so that, you know, you don't, the gadgets here don't quickly switch with the thing in your inbox. It's, you know, kind of annoying because you know we are not used to that being happening and stuff didn't really get anything there let's open this one let's see what we get 
let me heal all right so we did get some of that just some basic resources bro um as a freedom of a player you definitely want to take all that you can get all right so there's nothing here either I'm not gonna waste my time on this dude all right so i'm just gonna leave here and that is it for this base here i'm just gonna activate another base just to keep in mind you'd have to wait until the timer has ended so there's a timer that ends in regards to being able to enter here i'm gonna show you on the map so this is the timer um 13 minutes once this ends then you'll get some extra minutes but this location will be locked once that location or once that timer is has ended and then the base has disappeared you could quickly go ahead and um, open another compass and then you'd have access to another fresh location all right and let's activate another location here um activate another location and you could keep repeating the process here so that would could help you to definitely complete the side quest here um you could just use silvers and buy compass and stuff it doesn't cost a lot so i'll definitely you know recommend to you could do that process i want to draw this dude here um let's do it out here i think i'm going to reset them right here draw this one here can't draw to the wall oh snap no clue who is rift yo if that if that caught me, bro, <laughs> I think it might, you know, actually kill me. Don't want to die here. So you can just ignore that chest right there. I'm just going to open the wall here. Something just tell me to get rid of the giant, bro. In case that, you know, I get feared or something. All right, let me open this to see what we got. I think this camp here would be a better camp. Yes, sir. It's most definitely so far. Just basic, you know, resources and stuff. Okay. All right. So this location, bro, is just like way easy. I think you could just repeatedly do it and you get some points and you also get let me see yeah so you get some points and you definitely get the betrayers pack but it's only the green betrayers pack though but that works perfectly fine i'm gonna delete these okay this is what we need take the bandages definitely don't want to leave the bandages behind or nails you could bring nails if you're very new to the game, definitely save the nails until you have unlocked the workbench. Open this here too. All right, so there's nothing here, bro. There's nothing over this section here. All right, so I think that's it for the camp here. There's literally nothing here, bro. I mean, we did get like one Betrayers pack, so this is like way worse. This is definitely way worse, bro. Yeah, this is way worse than the previous um, base. But you definitely want to try to get the tablet, though. Once you get that tablet, you can get the blue compass unlocked once you have the blue compass unlocked you get more resources there in the chest but we'll definitely make a different video on the blue compass once i have that tablet to create it or to purchase it i should say um i don't see any options here to just purchase it or you know i think there's an option to purchase it yeah and you definitely can't craft it so all right so we definitely got to do like some more of the small betrayers camp to then get enough um, resources and stuff to get the compass. Well, which is the tablet? We need the tablet to purchase the compass here. 
as you can see the tablet is required and there is no other way to get the tablet but to do it if there's another way to get the tablet let me know maybe you could also find the tablet in the stronghold i have no clue but i'll definitely find that out let you guys know you know really appreciate for really appreciate guys for the support thank you so much for watching and peace